Are you bored of having this team? Why don't you turn it into a beast team? By hitting U7 buy in the description below. Get yourself some cheeky, cheap, reliable FIFA coins. And don't forget guys, use the code KING to get yourself that cheeky 5% off. Let's get into the video. Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Team of the Year SBC, well, uh, moments. Uh, player moments, because yeah, unfortunately it's a massive owl. It's the EA have done a, they've had a massive stinker here because this card is just so overpriced it's unreal. I don't understand where they were thinking. Um, I mean, it's not a bad card. Six foot three, low high work rates, two star, three star. 90 rated, 80 pace, 58 shots, 70 passing, 72 dribbling, 91 defense, and 88 physicality. In game stats, I mean, 75 acceleration, 84, 84 sprint speed, it's not terrible. 82 shot power, vision's naff. 74 free kick accuracy, 82 short passing, 80 long passing, not bad. 71 agility, 70 balance, not bad. He does have 99 reactions, which is a, the dub. 84 ball control, 61 dribbling, 84 composure, not bad. Defending stats are good. 91 interceptions, 87 head accuracy, 93 defense awareness, 91 stand tackle, and 87 slide. Good there. Uh, 91 jumping, 73 stamina. It's not the best, but it's not bad. 93 strength and 93 aggression. Uh, it does have the leadership trait. Um, yeah, and I don't know what's up with the dynamic pit pitch. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. It's two SBCs, but it's just overpriced. It's very overpriced, unfortunately. Um... Before we get into it, just to let you know, anyhow, these are footbin bite now prices at the time doing this SBC, which has been out for an hour. Bids and snobs will always be cheap, and don't forget, prices do fluctuate, but they're not going to fluctuate enough to make this worthwhile. I mean, you can throw fodder, which I know some people have got, because obviously they're doing pack upgrades and all that lot, but you need one Italian league player, as you can see, I've got Han Danovic in goal. Um, team over and over 5, we'll smack my 95, can't lower anyone else. Team chemistry is 70, we're miles above that, so we're on, we're on 86, so you can play around with this. Uh, no position change of loyalty. Spanish La League is the way to go because of how many centre backs there are in that league that are cheap. So, yeah. Uh, Handanovic is 12.5. Navas is 2.5. PK is 2.4. Savage is 2.5. Felipe is 2.5. Carrasco is 2.2. Gomez is 6.7. The Bucket is 12.5. Silva is 6.8. Uwe Alderpais is 6.9. And Aspas is 2.2. So, this is coming at 59.7k to do. So, just under 60k. It's not bad. Don't mind that. Um, You'll get it done for less than 60k easy bids and snipes. I can't see it going above the price. Um, a premium Electrum Players pack, which is a 20k pack. Then there's this one, which is just stupid. It's just stupid. It should have been 284 rated SBCs and one with them a team of the week, which still would have been overpriced. I think I would have had an 83 with a team of the week and an 84 with a team of the week uh, popped into it. But um, if you'd. If, yeah. I think even 284 rated teams, which are 60k each. Actually, it was 80, sorry, 85. No, an 84 with a team in a week and an 85 would have been about right. But they want an 85 and an 86. Come on, EA. That's that's a stinker for this league as well. Nah. And for a centre back, nah. Uh, considering how much Benucci is basically the less than 20k for a, a honourable moments, which isn't much worse than this card, then come on, EA. 86 rate squad with SmackDown 86, can't lower anyone else. Team chemistry is 65, run, seven, run 77, so again, you can play around with this one quite easily. 11 players in squad. Spanish Liga, again, because it's the way to go. Um, apart from Di Maria and uh, Golaski. Golaski is the cheapest goalkeeper and player in the game, 6.5k. Aspas is 2.2, PK is 2.4, Felipe is 2.4, Carrasco is 2.2. The Bucket is 12.5, Silva is 6.9, Cruz is 30.5, Di Maria is 21, Arzabal is 6.7, and then Aguero is 21k. <sighs> uh, less than 115k to do. 114.3k to do at the moment by now. You get a rare gold pack, which is a 25k pack. So, according to EA and Footbin, 174k. Mm -mm. Absolutely not worth it whatsoever. I wouldn't even put fodder into this SBC because there's going to be a lot of other SBCs coming out over the next couple of days. That's how bad overrated I think this is. This should have been 120k max. This should be 100k, this card. 100k all day long. Yes, he has 99 reactions. Whoop-de-doo. But 74... It's... it's, it's 
it's not even a great centre back. I mean, it's good, but it's not great. That's the thing. That's the only thing. I mean, like someone was pointed out. Look at Tamori. Yes, Tamori doesn't have the best the defending stats. Like the one to watch, he does have less defending and physicality stats, but he's much quicker. And he does have uh, the other stats that are not too bad either. So, and he's half the price of what this card is, and it's tradable, and it can get upgraded still. I think yeah, I've had a stinker there uh, for 175k now. It's minimum 50k overpriced, even if you do get 45k worth of packs. But that's my opinion, and I think a lot of you will probably agree. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about this SBC. I just think it's overpriced, but. Hopefully it'll save you some time and some money if you are doing it. Feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel and the video. Obviously, if you want to see more SBCs that are worth doing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy, obviously. Peace.